Hey everybody! In this video for One Dimensional Kinematics, we're going to be looking at the scenario of approaching trains. Okay, so two locomotives approach each other on parallel tracks. Each has a speed of 96 kilometers an hour with respect to the ground. If they are initially 8.4 kilometers apart, how long will it be before they reach each other? Okay, so this is the scenario you've got. You've got the two trains, they're both traveling towards each other at 96 kilometers per hour. Okay. The distance between the two trains is, as they say, 8.4 kilometers. And you have to figure out when they're going to reach each other. So there's a few things in terms of the geometry and the symmetry of this problem. Okay, they're both traveling at the same speed, which makes this problem actually a lot easier. Okay, so they're going to meet right in the middle <clears throat> because they're both traveling the same speed. Okay, so if you think about it, if they're both going to meet in the middle, that means that, means that they're going to meet when each one travels the distance of 4.2 kilometers. Okay? They only have to travel half the speed each in order to collide. Okay, so if we go ahead and solve this, okay, so how long will it be before they hit each other? Well, using our original formula, okay, so the speed equals distance over time. We're trying to find time. So you have to rearrange this equation for time. Okay, so because you're dividing by time right now, to get rid of it, you have to multiply both sides by time. Okay, so that gets rid of the time here. So then your next step, you're left with V times delta T equals D. Okay, but you still don't have T by itself. You have to divide both sides by V to get rid of that V there. Okay. So dividing both sides by V cancels the V on the left, giving you the equation delta T equals D over V. Simple enough, right? So if we set the D equal to the 4.2 kilometers, we set the speed equal to 96 kilometers per hour. Okay, so normally you would convert the units, but in this case they match up. You've got kilometers, kilometers per hour, Everything's working out, so the kilometers cancels out with the kilometers. And because you have 1 over h in the denominator, if you actually bring that h up to the numerator, it becomes hours as the time. Okay, So if you divide 4.2 divided by 96, you're going to get a really small number, 0.04375 hours. Okay, Now, we don't want to quote the final answer in hours. We're going to try to quote it in minutes into a value that makes more sense. So just like I convert any unit, you take that number and you multiply it by 1. Okay, and That one's going to be a fraction. Now, we're trying to get rid of the unit for hours, so we're going to put hour in the denominator. And I think a more sensible unit would be minutes. Okay, Seconds, you're probably going to still get a really big number, but minutes should be the way to go. Okay, So then the question is, what mathematical ratio of minutes to hours gives you 1? Okay, so we know that 1 hour is 60 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and plug that in. So canceling out the units for hours leaves us with minutes. So all you have to do is the calculation 0 0.04375 times 60, and that leaves you with 2.625 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Now, we're almost done. <clears throat> As with all the other questions, our last step is to verify the number of sig figs. Okay, so we've got two sig figs in the quote for the speed. We've got two sig figs in the quote for the distance. So we're going to finalize this by quoting this value to two sig figs. Okay, two sig figs for this. The two five does not round the six up. It'll keep the six where it is. Therefore, the final time is 2.6 minutes. Okay, so therefore the trains are going to approach each other in 2.6 minutes. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you see the videos that come out after this on other physics topics. If you think someone else will benefit from this video, be sure to share it with them on Facebook or on Twitter. And be sure to give that like button a click if you liked it. Okay, I would really appreciate that. Okay, so that's it guys. Hope you have a good day and I will see you next time.